Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this square, uh, its name uh, is Blizzard Warning uh, and it's uh, one of Polyplum's designs and uh, I really like her works. Um, if you want to see a written pattern, you can look uh, her blog. Uh, for this, I, use, I will use these two yarns because I think blue and um, cream or blue and white work together nicely and that yarn was um, yarn art jeans and that's um, cotton yarn also but uh, softer than that now I will try this once and uh, that's yarn size 4 okay I will use 4 millimeter crochet hook with that if you are ready Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we can start. I will start with a blue yarn and make a magic ring. Just take the yarn like that around your fingers, okay? Wrap it around and one more time like that, opposite way. Make a cross. Insert your hook here. Grab this yarn and twist it. Grab the same yarn again and pull it through from your loop. I will make a chain here and uh, loosen up your yarn a little. Um, we will make puff stitch here. A yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn, uh, grab the yarn and pull it. Do you like that? Yarn over again and that's the second one. Yarn over again third, fourth and fifth. Now yarn over and pull it through from all the loops you have. Okay. Yarn over and make a chain for the close this puff stitch and make one more chain. Now we will make one more proof. Actually, we made uh, we will make six of them. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull it through from all the loops, and make two chains. I'll make it one more time. I think that's five. I lost my count. <laughs> Chain two. One, two, three, four, and five. Last four, I will make two more. One, two, three. And the last one. Chain two. And close the magic ring. I will insert my hook into that first chain. Uh, I made this chain for close this first puffs. 
and make a slip stitch. I will make one more slip stitch here. I want to start from this chain space. Take the yarn, make a slip stitch and chain three that's the double crochet chain one that's one chain space and chain three again and that's a pico okay i made seven chains and i used three of them uh, for make a pico turn my chains like that and one, two, three, into that three uh, back loop, third back loop, okay? I will insert my hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through all the loops. Chain one. And I will insert my hook into the same space and make a double crochet. One and two. Okay. Oops, I turn it. <laughs> Please be careful about it. Okay. We will use it. that's the front side of our work, and I will make a double crochet into the same stitch but um, this way yarn over and into the next chain space I will make a double crochet chain 4 and into that third chain turn it like that Make a pico. Chain one. And into the same space, make a double crochet. Into the next one, make the same thing. Chain one and three more. Make a pico, chain one, double crochet. Now I will make three more. I'm at the end of the row and make my last double crochet and I will make a slip stitch into that third chain. Insert my hook here, take the yarn and make a slip stitch. Now I will uh, change the color. We can make one more chain for the secure and cut the yarn. And I will start uh, with a standing uh, single crochet and I will make here make it here between this two double crochet okay look here insert my hook between this two double crochet take the yarn yarn over and pull it through from both loops if you want you can tie your yarn here chain one and uh, turn into same space and make a single crochet okay you can make it like that too and now we will make triple crochets but we will make them here okay this uh, two chain space one row low yarn over twice i will insert my hook here like that if you want to make it easily, you can just take this one like that and hold here, okay? You will make it here. Grab the yarn 
yarn over, pull it through from first to yarn over, pull it through from second to yarn over, pull it through from third to. Okay? Chain 3, yarn over twice and into the same space I will make one more triple. One, two and three. And, and now we will make a single crochet into here again between these two double crochet. Make a single crochet and then yarn over twice. I will insert my hook behind this uh, chain space or picot like that. Make a triple, chain three and make one more. And between these two double crochet, make a single crochet. Yarn over twice, insert my hook here. One, two, and three. Chain three. Yarn over twice and make a triple into same space then make a single crochet here i will finish this row like that in the end of the row three i will insert my hook into that first stitch and make a slip stitch chain one and make a single crochet into same stitch Chain one, and now we will make a picots with double crochets or double crochets with picots. Now uh, we will make them here. Insert my hook here and make a double crochet. Chain three, and into that third chain. I will make a pico. I like to say pico. It's like a um, melodic sound. Oh, sorry. Yarn over once and make a double crochet, chain three, make a pico. Make one more double crochet and one more picot. And that's the last double crochet. Okay, I made four double crochet and three picot between them. Then chain one and make a single crochet into that single crochet stitch. Chain one again and into that three chain space I will make a double crochet. Chain three and pico. Double crochet. double crochet and one more pico and last double crochet chain one make a single crochet just complete this row like that uh, I made my last double crochet and I will insert my hook into that first uh, single crochet and make a slip stitch then make a chain cut the yarn I will take the blue yarn 
And now I will start with a standing double crochet. If you want, you can tie your yarn and chain three. Okay. I want to show you uh, the exact the spaces we will work now, stitches. Okay. At first, I will use this. You see, uh, we made triple, triple here, triple crochet. We will use this one and this treble crochet st stitch, okay? We will make our double crochet into this and this for this stitch. Yarn over. I will insert my hook from behind of this one chain space, okay? And into that treble stitch, take the yarn and make a double crochet. Chain two, and you see we have a pico here. We will um, make a double crochet into that pico, okay? But not like that. We will take this picot between these uh, double crochets. We have four double crochets here. Divide them like that. You see we have two here and two here. And just take this picot between them. You can make it like that. Insert my hook here, make a double crochet, then chain two. I will make a double crochet into that treble now. Okay, we will make it one more time. At first chain one, yarn over into that treble stitch, make a double crochet, chain two, insert your hook between this two, uh, second and third double crochet and take this pico like that and make a double crochet in, into it, uh, this pico chain two and make a double crochet into that treble stitch chain one again Make a double crochet here, chain two, take the pickle like that, make a double, chain two, and it's hard to see uh, the second treble uh, sometimes, so uh, it's here. You see that's uh, our fourth double crochet, and our stitch is here. I will finish this row like that. I made my last double crochet here. Chain one and make a slip stitch. I will make one more slip stitch. Insert my hook here, wrap the yarn, and make a slip stitch. And I will start from here now. Okay, you can take this white uh, row like that. 
uh, so you can work easily chain three and chain one that's a double crochet and that's one chain space yarn over and make a double crochet here actually we made a, a V stitch okay chain one and into that next uh, space I will make double crochet chain one and a double crochet chain one and into that stitch uh, you know uh, we made two uh, chain here two chain here and we made one chain here okay two chain two chain and one chain and into that one chain spaces we will make a puff stitch okay chain one yarn over grab the yarn two three four five uh, I will make it uh, with five straps but you can make it with four okay yarn over and pull it through then close it with a chain then chain one more into the two chain space make it double crochet chain one and one more double crochet chain one again into the next one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one again and into that one chain space make a puff stitch one two three four and five Close it with a chain and make one more chain into the next one. Keep making V's and puffs and one chain space between them. Okay. I made my last puff and chain one and I will insert my hook into the third chain, make a slip stitch. And I will not uh, cut this yarn, I will uh, keep making with the same color. Chain 1. You will need this stitch marker or uh, if you lose all of them like me, you can use yarns. Insert my hook into same space and make a, a single crochet. Okay, insert my hook into that chain one space and make a single crochet and into that double crochet stitch make a single crochet and into that uh, chain one space make a single crochet. Now we will uh, put a stitch marker here. You see, that's uh, between these two uh, V stitch. Okay. I will put a yarn here and just leave it like that. I will need them for the other row. Okay into that double crochet stitch make a single crochet into chain one stitch single crochet double crochet single crochet and we have our puff stitch here make two single crochet here before the puff and two single crochet after the puff one and two skip this stitch one and two just don't miss it okay we have a stitch here 
make a single crochet make a single crochet here and here and between these two uh, we we have a chain space and we'll make a single crochet here then put a stitch marker Make a single crochet into double crochet stitch, chain one and double crochet. Then put two single crochet before the puff stitch and skip this. Make two more. Put a single crochet here and here, here. And then you came here, make a single crochet and make a put a stitch mark. Okay, I will keep making like that and just complete this row. I finished to make my single crochets and join from this first stitch, this slip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn. Now I will take the other yarn and you can start with any of this uh, marked stitch, okay? I will start from here with a, a standing single crochet. Let's take it off now. Insert here and make a single crochet. Now I will make a double crochet into that second picot. We have three picot here. I will make my double crochet into that one. Okay. Yarn over. Insert my hook into that picot. Make a double crochet. And I made my first single crochet here and I will make the second one into the next uh, stitch. I won't skip any stitch, okay? I will just uh, use all the stitches to make single crochets. Now I will keep making single crochets. Totally there will be 11 single crochet with these three, okay? Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Just take it off and I will make a double crochet again. into that third pico, uh, two, sorry, second pico. Okay, it will look like that. And keep making the uh, single crochets, make 11 single crochet again. Four, And no one. I will complete uh, this row like that. I made 10 single crochet now, and that's the 11th. Okay, insert my hook here and join with a slip stitch. Then chain one into same stitch I will make a single crochet into the next one 
I will make a single crochet and one more single crochet. Now we will turn this round to uh, a square. Okay. For this we will use uh, single crochets, half double crochets and double crochets. I made three single crochet and now I will make three half double crochet. Yarn over, insert my hook into next stitch, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull it through from all the loops. Okay, that's the first one. Second one. Third one. Into the next stitch, I will make a double crochet. And now we will make double crochets again, but we will make V stitch here. Skip one and into that next stitch, make a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. Skip one into the next stitch, make a double chain one and double skip one and into that next stitch make one more we our next stitch is uh, this double crochet we made uh, it uh, into that pico and we will skip this one to make a double crochet into the next stitch make three half double crochet one two three and make three single crochet one two three as you see that's our corner we made three single crochet three half double crochet one double crochet and then three V and we skip one, two, three and four stitches. Then make a, a double crochet, three half double crochet, three single crochet. And we will repeat this. Okay. Start with half double crochets. One, two, three, make a double, skip one, make a V, sorry, skip one, make one more V stitch, skip one and make a V. Skip one stitch, make a double crochet, three half double crochet, one, two, three, and three single crochet. We are at the uh, stitch we begin now. Okay? It's the same stitch. We start from here, and now we will start again to make the same thing make one two three single crochet and then make half double crochets double crochets v stitch complete this one like that i made my double crochet and three half double crochet you will see there is a, a, it's like a stitch but it's not it's a slip stitch from the previous row skip this one and into that single crochet, first single crochet, make a slip stitch, okay? Chain one, make a single crochet into same stitch and then keep making single crochet. We will make totally five single crochet. Actually, there will be seven single crochet, but we will make two 
a single crochet later okay I made five single crochet then I will make two half double crochet and now you see we uh, that's our first V stitch I uh, don't make any uh, half double crochet or double crochet into that stitch okay I will directly go into this V and make a V stitch again make a double crochet and I will make a pico one two three and make a double crochet into same stitch I will make a V's with picots here too uh, but uh, it's the corner so I will make more and um, I will make trebles because I want to make it longer yarn over twice insert your hook into that V stitch make a treble make a pico make the second one and a pico third one and one more pico and that's the last treble okay I made four treble and three picots into that we stitch we will make a double crochet pico and double crochet And uh, now we will make the same thing as we did here uh, starting from this first double crochet we had just skip this V stitch okay starting from here make two double crochet one and two and seven single crochet one two three four five and seven then again make two half double crochet and we are here again and we will make the same thing we did here okay just complete this row I made my last two single crochets and join from the first stitch chain one and cut the yarn take the other yarn sorry I will start from here you see that's my first uh, half double crochet okay I will insert my hook here and make a standing single crochet and then keep making single crochets I will totally have 11 uh, single crochet Yes, I made a little single crochet and we will skip this stitch, okay? That's our first double crochet stitch and we will work here now. I'll show you. We will work this row for the corner and we will use 
here okay this first double crochet or you can uh, insert your hook here too if you want you can use this stitch okay that's the first one that's the second place we will use between these two V's leg okay that's the third uh, space and that's the last one after we finish all this uh, V's we will make our last double crochet into here or here okay yarn over I will insert my hook here and make a double crochet chain one yarn over I will insert my hook here between these two V's I will make a V here make a double chain one and a double chain three yarn over and into here between these two uh, we this time make a V chain one and into here make a double crochet okay it will look like that then starting from this first half double crochet I will make single crochets that's the other one yes now I will make the same thing again insert my hook from behind to this first double crochet stitch chain one between these two V make a V chain three between these two uh, two we make one more we chain one and into that first double crochet stitch make a double crochet and starting from the half double crochet stitch make single crochet again I complete my last double crochet and join from the first stitch chain one and make a single crochet into same stitch now I will keep making single crochets totally I will make 12 single crochet this time And I will make my last single crochet into that double crochet stitch okay now we will make the corner again and I will use half double crochet double crochet and treble crochet for here into that chain one space make two half double crochet into that V stitch here make three double crochet one two three yarn over twice and into that three chain space make two uh, treble chain two and two more 
Trevor. And into that we stitch, I will make three double crochet, one, two, and three. Into the chain one space, make two half double. So we will, we will make the corner like that, okay? Two half double, three double, two treble, two chain, two treble, three half double, uh, sorry, double crochet, and two half double crochet. And then we will skip this first double crochet. Don't make a, a single crochet here. And starting from the next one, make 12 a single crochet and that's 12 you will make the same thing again two half double three double two treble one and two chain two and into same space make two more treble three double one two three and two half double Skip this one and make single crochets. Uh, finish this row like that. I complete the row and try and make a slip stitch again. Cut the yarn. And we have only two rows, okay? And the hardest part uh, gone, I think. <laughs> and so keep making. I'll insert my hook into that treble and make a standing single crochet and I will make four more. With this one it will be five single crochet. One, two, three. Oops. Four and five. And now I will make a double crochet into that last pico. Yarn over, insert my hook here, make a double crochet. And this time I will skip this stitch. You see, that's the first half double crochet if you are looking from here okay and that's the second one I will skip this first one and make a single crochet into that second one and I will make a totally 14 a single crochet here that's not a stitch I'll skip this one okay and I will make my single crochets three, four, and that's fourteen. You see, that's my first half double crochet again, and I will skip the second one. Make a double here, skip this half double crochet and into the first uh, double crochet, make a single crochet and make five single crochet here, totally. And into that uh, chain space make one more single crochet yarn over twice this time 
and we will make a treble into that um, pico, second pico, if you uh, look at this tree, it's in the middle. I will make a treble here. And make one more single crochet into the same uh, chain space. And starting from this first stitch, make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and make a double crochet here. Skip this half double crochet and into the next stitch start to make single crochets. Make your 14 single crochets and make the same thing we did here. And now we will make the uh, final and easiest row. Okay, chain one, insert in the same space and make a single crochet and keep making single crochets. I made 27 uh, single crochets and I'm here into that uh, treble crochet stitch. I will make a single crochet. Two chain and into same space a single crochet and keep making single crochet okay make the corners like that and we will totally have 13 uh, sorry 30 uh, single crochet for one side of your square complete this roll and I'll see you I made my last corner and make a single crochet here then I will cut the yarn and join uh, correctly I will tell it like that I will insert my yarn needle into that second stitch okay like that and then insert my needle into that last stitch I made So I have a totally 30 stitch here too. I create a new stitch and I will hide this yarn I really like this needle but it's too big so I always use this one but it's too hard to use <laughs> I'm not so happy with that <laughs> and that's it I want to show you the measurements it's um, six and a half inch long you can tell it like that and um, it's a little more than six inch long and i'm not sure about i was not sure about this uh, yarn but it looks so good i would tell this uh, i really like uh, this one but i don't have uh, this yarn now um, so i was worried about uh, how it looks uh, when I try this one, I'll see that's so um, proper for the summer projects. You can use it for bed covers or uh, TV blankets or anywhere you want. Um, 
you can make a child blanket, even child blanket with this. And I hope you like it. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can write comments. I'll wait for your comments every time I say this, but I really like to read your comments. And Siris Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there too. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.